What's up, y'all? My name is Devontae, and I sacrificed my time, so you don't have to. All right, so I do apologize for not having any memes ready. Don't worry, I'll have something ready for Raw later on tonight. But um, this just popped up on my radar at the moment. And again, unfortunately, I don't have my microphone with me. I'm in my car at the park right now, so I can't really post the, the actual article in itself. Like, you know how we usually go over the articles inside the videos, and I'll show you what I'm actually reading at the moment? Unfortunately, I can't do that at the moment, given I don't have really the anemones or the amenities. That's how you say it, whatever the case may be, to actually um, post that right now at the moment. So all I can really do is go back to my old school days and um, read the article for you, if you will. So here, wait a minute for a second. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, hey, wait a minute. All right. Uh, so we have Vince McMahon accuser Janelle Grant wrote love letter to ex WWE CEO after alleged sex abuse, but claims she was coerced. I'll have the link down in the description box if you want to follow along. But this is very interesting going off the title alone. But when it comes to cases like this, I don't want to make any rash decisions, even though the title looks like it favors my narrative. I'm going to. Be cautious. Be very, very cautious. And this is my first time reading it. Again, I don't have any of my equipment on me. So, again, you can tell that I'm not lying when I say I'm not prepared at night at the moment. I'm reading this just along. I'm reading this along with you guys. A woman who alleges she was sexually abused for years by Vince McMahon wrote a gushing love letter to the former WWE CEO in which she declared the duo was in love with a capital L. And she now claims that McMahon coerced her to do it. The Post has learned. Janelle Grant, whose bombshell lawsuit landed a day before the wrestling icon abruptly stepped down as executive chairman of WWE parent TKO Group Holdings, penned a lengthy email to McMahon dated December 24th, 2021, in which she called him my best friend, my love, and my everything. After almost three years together, it's... Hang on. Uh... It's like my life isn't even real to me unless you're there and in it, and I'm sharing it all with you. Grant, 43, 43 years old, wrote in the Christmas Eve letter to 78-year-old McMahon obtained by the Post. The Love Struck's letter stands in contrast to the allegations in her explosive lawsuit filed in Connecticut Federal Court in January which claimed the McMahon allegedly defecated on Grant's head during a threesome in May of 2020, some four, some 18 months before she wrote the alleged love letter. But Grant's attorney, Ann Callis, told the Post that McMahon actually instructed Grant to write the note. And I quote, frankly, it's pretty disgusting that Vince's week's late attempt to defend his horrendous behavior, behavior he claims to this day never happened, is to try and showcase letters that Vince himself coerced her to write, Callis said. Mm, let's see his psychological torture of her continues as is typical of abusers predators abusive predators who respond to women speaking out with increased threats while janelle isn't a stranger to his intimidation tactics this is a new low even for him Asked about the coercion allegations, McMahon's attorney Jessica Tubb Rosenberg of law firm Kazowitz Benson Torres told the Post that, and I quote, this is revisionist history. No one coerced Miss Grant to write that letter. She wrote it of her own accord. The fact that the letter shows it was the 24th draft speaks volumes. Nowhere in her voluminous complaint that is replete with fabrications does she mention being coerced into such behavior. Well, yeah, why would she say that she's being coerced in the letter that's stupid the language of the letter is consistent with other communications she made to mr mcmahon over the course of their consensual relationship rosenberg got it meanwhile a spokesperson for grant revealed that on december 21st three days before sending the letter grant texted mcmahon that she had surgery on her pointer finger saying i think i'm tapping out today and the alleged text exchange obtained by the post which was not included in grant's lawsuit but alleged as genuine by a spokesperson for grant mcmahon responded damn it sorry baby following it with two heart emojis how will i write your letter grant replied in the text thread mm, i can type it and read it or try to write it in a couple of days grant added i'm so sorry if i messed this up i want you to have a nice letter hmm it's showing text messages right here too um it says a port in my right arm you know i'll put this because i can't really post so many pictures with what i'm working with right now i'll post this one picture so you guys can see it obviously you're probably seeing it already but uh yeah it says a port in my right arm and just has surgical procedure on my left pinky okay i think i'm tapping out for today damn it baby damn it sorry baby okay 
How will I write your letter? And uh, I can type and read it or try and write in a couple of days. I'm so sorry if I mess this up. I want you to have a nice letter. Huh? Does it show what else Vince said? That seems kind of weird, doesn't it? Like, huh? Because they're just saying it outright like that. How will I write your letter? I can type and read it or try to write in a couple of days. I'm so sorry if I messed this up. I want you to have a nice letter. Huh. I mean, that's kind of weird that she would be so like, you know, I mean, that could just be the way that she talked. I'm not really going to hold it over her head, but um, eh, whatever. Just continuing on, I guess. Grant's rep, who asked to remain unnamed, also said that Grant had written love letters at McMahon's request so many times that she resorted to padding them with existing material from pop culture, including a GQ interview with Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly published two months before Grant's letter. And the GQ piece, for example, author Molly Lambert said that set of the celebs relationship, the carnal component is clearly off the charts, but they can also be sweet and funny language that was lifted nearly word for word in Grant's letter. Fox and MGK are in love with a capital L. The story also states yet another phrase lifted by Grant. Uh, in another passage, Grant wrote, I feel understood, accepted, loved, and appreciated for who I am at my core. You see my heart. You see my soul. There are few people who I know or who know the secret of making a heaven here on earth. You are one of those rare people. God, that's so cringe. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, it's going back up again. This damn article. It keeps glitching out on me. Holy shit. Uh, is that it? Uh, yeah, because it says Jason's kind of going over the case once again that we already know. I'm trying to look and see if there's anything else written inside this that's relatively new. Um, Nope, I see nothing else that's relatively new. But regardless, I'll leave the link down in the description box below if you guys want to follow along or if you want to go back and read it yourselves, right? So what I get out of this is that I still want to wait and see. I don't think anything has coming out like you guys know me as far as my conclusion is considered until i get in like actual evidence that sex coercion was legitimately um you know implemented then i can't call it a sex trafficking and obviously i mean i'm looking at this letter and she did type it but let's not be biased here i'm not going to be biased just because it goes up against my narrative of what i believe it seems as if like yeah i don't know let I me mean, if that picture is real i'm gonna assume that it's not photoshop and they're not you know they're not dumb enough to present something in court that's photoshop that seems kind of stupid so i'm gonna presume that uh well i mean she didn't type the letter then right i mean she typed how can you type a letter it said three days letter and you see clear as day that she got surgery done on her hand now I can maybe see people arguing that isn't it kind of like a little suspicious that all of a sudden she got her hand done three days before, but you don't know. Maybe that happens to be the case. Who knows? Maybe she legitimately got her hand fucked up for all we know. What I do know, though, looking at this right here is, um, nah, with a hand like that, you ain't typing shit if that happens to be real, right? If how how is that possible you can't do that even like i said we got to be honest about this folks because that's what you come to me for you don't come to me to get a legitimate narrative i'm not gonna i'm gonna tell you how i feel about the actual case in itself but i'm not gonna feed you any lies i'm not gonna tell you any bullshit just because i specifically believe one thing doesn't necessarily mean that that happens to be the case and if someone says that well hey here's proof well, i'm gonna read the proof because i think my credibility matters a hell of a lot more than my opinion and what i'm seeing right here is nah i don't really buy the whole typing of the love letter thing which comes into question it's like okay well did vince type it did someone in his camp type it um i mean <laughs> you know i i feel like it's just circumstantial you know what i mean like obviously the email letter is real obviously you know it could be a case that um you know maybe the dates are wrong who, who knows i don't know that's what i'm saying we gotta wait for more evidence to come out but from what it looks like if this is a specific letter that was typed out then i don't know how she typed it out just going off of the dates the email is dated on the 24th the text messages that show her coming out of surgery is dated on the 21st right or could it be a situation that she still typed it regardless i find it the only thing that makes me a little bit suspicious is and again we need i need all the text messages bro before i come to this conclusion right because it just abruptly cuts off when she's done talking about typing about the letter you know what i mean it just abruptly fucking cuts off and vince made no indication at all as to him wanting to write a letter or anything like that 
Like, you would think, like, at the very least, that, like, it would be a response for Vince saying something on the lines. Like, you see the text messages right here, right? It cuts off right there. You would think Vince would have responded with, it's okay, baby, or something along the lines of that. Like, nothing happened, you know? Like, he, we didn't get a response from Vince. I keep seeing things paint Vince in a negative light in regards to the charge that's being casted upon him. But I'm not seeing anything that's coming from her perspective perspective that's like you know i'm trying to say like there's not really any correlation tying between her messages and vince's messages it's like showing one thing and then it stops abruptly in order to paint a certain type of light and then another message it'll do it from her perspective but again it's stopping short if if vince texts you the first time about this and then you're texting him like four times in regards to this right shouldn't you show some proof like okay well he texted me afterwards or something along the lines of that because he did text you the first time i don't know why he wouldn't text you afterwards to let you know it's okay baby or something along the lines of that i mean it's not as if he called you or something because you would have said it right here right right like there's there are i'm still not really how can i put this i'm still quite frankly in the same position that i was in previously and you're gonna have people who are gonna come out in the camp and i'm already seeing on twitter people are like oh yeah you see she's lying already you can tell that she's fucking lying she's a fucking lying heathen whore or something like that you can hear it in their language and whatnot and it's like i mean i can see why it's suspicious because of how abruptly it cuts off at the text messages and her not bringing up the fact that she talked to vince directly afterwards on the phone seemed to suggest to me that he wasn't really suspicious about the text messages and he didn't call her back or anything along the lines of that so i guess that's really really suspicious when you think about it i mean how do i know that the patting of the hand was you know i don't know man it's just a bunch of things that don't really tie in together and i haven't really floated from my position yet I'm still thinking to me at the very least that, OK, well, I still have no clue and I still have no evidence as to whether or not she's a victim. And at the same time, I still have no clue or any evidence if she's the perpetrator in regards of in collusion with Vince as far as the sex stuff is going and things didn't go her way. You know what I mean? I mean, th there's just a bunch of things going on right now, but this didn't get me any further to any kind of proof. And if you're going to have people on Twitter telling you that she's a liar, um, this isn't really compelling as far as suggesting whether or not she is lying, because it does show her with tape around her hands. But at the same time, with Vince McMahon, if you're saying that he's a sex sheriff girl abuser because of what her district defense attorney is saying, I mean, you were a lost cause to begin with, like I said, right? So you know again just saying if you guys care from an actual non-biased person who doesn't look like he's taking the side of believe all women but at the same time doesn't give a flying shit what happens to vince mcmahon coming from a non-biased partisan position i mean nah this is just a nothing burger in the end of the day we still need more text messages if you ask me but again i got the link down in the description box if you want to follow along again sorry for being so ill prepared after that bray wyatt stuff i went to go do some stuff at the park so i didn't really feel like i was gonna cover anything else but that's okay because i'll have more memes for you later on tonight when we talk about raw but with that being said folks as always my name is Devonte, and i'll be catching you guys later 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 don't let strangers take your fucking words and twist them around and don't let strangers have their own position that they already had previously before all this even blow up and throw it in your face as if they're correct think read don't just go off your emotions emotions cause commotions inside of your head okay good good deuces p eyes <laughs>